models for those two networks? You have one up with 3G models and we have uh, we have a bit of everything. We have some modems that are 450 only, some modems that are 2100 only, and some modems that do both. So we have we have modems that will allow uh, people to roam nationwide and roam internationally with one modem. The question is which service and what price is going to be the question. And the CDMA users will uh, allow uh, networks with lower speeds than not necessarily because as one of your colleagues pointed out, you know, what happens is that the, the bit rate is, is shared across different people. How you manage the networks determines what the user experience is. It, you're right, in theory, uh, the bit rate on our 450 network is going from 2.4 to 3.1 megabit. Uh, but uh, if you have a 6 or 7 megabit uh, network with three times more users on it, your average bit rate is less than, than a 3 megabit network. So it will depend on the pricing, how we manage things. It will depend on the location. Same way as today, if you live in a place that has cable, you can buy cable. If it doesn't have cable, you buy DSL. If it doesn't have either, you buy something else. Right? Uh, for voice, for voice headsets, we have, uh, we have a number of new handsets that are coming out between now and Christmas. How uh, many? On voice. On voice. On voice. Uh, Order of magnitude between now and Christmas, it's somewhere between four and six, I think. Uh, in different in data, categories. In data? In, in data, we have, uh, I think, three on the 450 network and about two or three on the 2100 network. Will the, the handsets be hybrid as well? No. Only We're not, the, the 2100 network right now is only running data. We're not, we're not assuming... Uh, so, I will not have uh, data on 200, uh, 2000... You won't have voice. You won't uh, have voice on, on, the, on, the, on the devices. Uh, no, you, we have data devices that can handle 450, data devices that can handle 2100, no, and data that handles both. But no. we only have voice devices on 450. Okay. Yeah. And you will stick to 450? For voice. For it's voice. very, very cost effective. It's very cost effective. To cover, to cover Romania with 2100 would cost billions, not millions. No, it's, I mean, to do, to do proper coverage, to do proper coverage, I mean, if you look, and the GSM 900 is not as good a frequency as 450, and the GSM 900 guys have 2,000 base stations. To do 2100 with the same type of coverage is uh, around six to 7,000 base stations. Uh, probably closer to 10,000 base stations. So, so it's not cost effective to put a nationwide 2100 network. And almost no one does it. Some people try, but almost no one does it. They usually, if, if you look, when you go outside on the UMTS <coughs> network uh, for voice, you're usually on GSM the whole time. And why not the Nokia N95 in your network? And that, and that can, N95? Yes. Why not? You can use them, but for data only right now. Uh, so all the PDAs, what, what, you'll see is, you know, what you'll see is that a lot of devices, I mean, for example, I use an email device. I never use it for voice. The, the first thing I do is switch my network to this one. Yes, but why not Nokia? Why not LG? Why not? I don't know. On voice? No, no on voice. Well, on data. On data. That's but that's not seen. excluded. That's to be seen. That's 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 actually, the way the market works is that people can get a SIM card for most and put it in any device. But modems, you know, you'll see that the modem, the modem market will be dominated by the low-cost providers. And that's not just true for us, it's true for everybody. Because at the end of the day, the difference between a modem and a phone is a modem is not a fashion accessory. You know, I haven't seen anybody choose a USB stick based on the color yet. Although I'm sure there are people out there. Data, as I mentioned, we have a philosophy of data and a culture of data, so we will have a, a performance, we believe. I mean, the other guys have empty networks relative to our 450 network. And uh, our mentality is very much performance oriented for our customers on data. So on the data side, that one. On the voice side, you know, we have some new products that we should all announce, which are unique to uh, many people.
and uh, we like to, you know, we like to have products that other people don't want, are scared to offer, or cost them too much because it screws up with their business model. So those are the type of products that we're looking at today.